So I videoed this and it, the audio was absolutely horrible. So I'm going to do a voiceover. Um, so what you're seeing here is I'm talking, you know, this is the trailer. I've taken the tent off the Jeep and I've added it to the, the trailer that I haul my kayaks on. Uh, and I'm chatting through some of this stuff. Um, so what I'm planning on doing is for each of the back corners, uh, I'm going to put a stabilizer jack and then one in the front. Uh, the trailer is extremely lightweight. You know, I want to keep it lightweight to tow with the Jeep and be able to maneuver and also still fit inside the garage with the tent on top, kayaks underneath, and uh, all the gear uh, along with it. All right, so here I'm just demonstrating the jack itself, kind of how it works. Uh, it's really simple. It's a really uh, simplistic, uh, user-friendly design. Um, you just pull it out of those slots and it flips. Uh, it goes from 12 inches to, uh, I believe it was 18 inches total is the bottom. And it comes with this rod that uh, helps you jack it up. And, and being that this is after the fact and I was able to test it, I'll tell you that um, even with the trailer loaded with the kayak and gear, um, I was still able to very easily use this really short rod to jack this thing up and down. And, and also bring it back, you know, it's got a quick release to bring down. So here I'm showing what came in the box. Uh, basically a, a handy level. Uh, the rod, it's about 12 inches long, fits through the hole, uh, helps you jack it up and down. Um, and per, two bolts per jack that are like self-tapping, eight millimeter self-tapping bolts. Um, pretty heavy duty. I was, I was really worried that this wasn't going to be secure enough um, so uh, but uh, I'm, I'm extremely impressed with how it turned out I was looking for the instructions looking for the size of hole I should drill um, and it is not in the instructions the instructions really don't help you out a whole lot these videos like this uh, are the best way to learn how these things work So I'm holding the jack where I plan to put it and I'm kind of demonstrating that the, the leg's going to kick out to the side from where I'm at. So I'm putting it on the back bar uh, and I'm using the holes on, the, on it to uh, align it to where I want it to be. And here I'm using a uh, 1 8 uh, bit to drill a pilot hole. I actually didn't have an eight millimeter um, drill bit. So I tried another size at first and realized it was dull. So I went to this Christmas tree style bit uh, that actually the second stage of it was actually eight mil. And you see it just ate right through it. So here I'm holding the bolt up, kind of testing it out. Yep, and making sure that it definitely will work as intended. And now I'm just kind of holding it back up, aligning it, and uh, marking the second hole. So something to know is one side you can use an impact like, like you see me doing here. Uh, it's pretty easy. And when I say like that thing bites good, it's, it's killer. It's like putting uh, machine threads in. And here you see the, the function and how it actually works. Um, and I'll show you something else in a moment. But on the other, other side, the other hole, you'll have to use a ratchet to get through uh, because that is in the way. A little bit of a pain um, it caused me a little headache but I was able to get it as long as you don't have really fat um, headed ratchets you can fit in that space
So you'll notice the, uh, the slot to where it locks it in place. I was worried about this. No one's told me this. Um, but if you look over uh, on the left side where my hand is patting here, you actually have to mash this to get it to go up just enough to fit in that slot. And that holds tension and it holds it really solid. So it's not going to be rattling around. I was really worried that this thing was going to be extremely loose. Uh, once I got it bolted on, but I was I was very impressed that uh, how it turned out. I couldn't be more happy with this install. So here you see uh, finished product. Um, I put two on the back and one on the front um, to use. It's kind of a standard stabilizer um, <clears throat> to use all the time, like when it's just sitting in the in the driveway or sitting in the storage unit. Um, it actually, my, the slope of my driveway, um, it actually had enough of the uh, front jack to level it out to where you could stay in a spot that was offset that much. So here you see I got the tent folded out, um, you know, still kind of thing mocked up, but, but finished product for the jacks. So you got three. You got three pads that sit down for jacks, and you got your wheels, uh, and then you will have your ladder folding out the back when everything's folded out. Um, <clears throat> really happy with how this turned out. Uh, the jack, I mean, sorry, the trailer is still extremely lightweight. Um, I had looked at all sorts of ways. You know, there are adjustable uh, stabilizer jacks that you, win, you know, wind up and wind down, and they were just for one, they were. Uh, just add a little more complication points of failure uh, these things are cheap um, easy to swap out at any given time um, I mean it's not like I have a lot of real estate to work with anyway with this trailer so it, they fit the bill perfectly so with that that concludes this video uh, it's a short and sweet uh, I'm sure you like it that way uh, stay tuned I got some cargo things uh, in my next vid I think will be interesting uh, to make this to where I can use it with the kayaks on it, still have cargo and have my tent. Uh, it's going to be pretty cool, and I can't wait to try this thing out um, this fall because it's not long. It's going to be cooling off here in Texas, and uh, I'll be able to go camping and go uh, get out and about you know, without dying in the heat. Thanks, guys. Uh, like and subscribe, and appreciate all your support.